All right, have and have not fans. Now, let me just start off by saying that if I'm not posting a video on tomorrow, happy Thanksgiving to all my listeners and followers. I can't tell you how thankful I am for all of you because, again, uh, comparing last November to this December, uh, excuse me, November, the channel does not even look recognizable. Like, literally, the amount of people who have come aboard to the have and have not community that I have on this part of the uh, interweb, uh, internet. I just want to say I really appreciate it. Now, uh, for starters, I will be doing an episode review on the If Loving You Is Wrong finale. I will be heading back home tomorrow morning for Thanksgiving. So, obviously, I'm just going to wait until I talk to my mom about it, you know, get her thoughts, and then I'll make a video. Uh, just know that I'm going to be at home from Thursday until maybe Saturday or Sunday. So, if I've not posted a video within that time frame, well, that's because I'm at home for a little bit. But, as predicted, there was a trailer for the haves and the have-nots, but I have to say that I am semi disappointed because it's exactly the kind of trailer I didn't want to have and by that I mean it was that trailer and again I was very descriptive in the video I did recently about hey will we get a have and have not trailer tonight but I don't want is you know some over for some oh like voice over dialogue and then have those dramatic pictures of the characters and as you see on the screen we did get those dramatic pictures of the characters while Candace saying, I'm going to get even. I'm going to get even with those sons of bitches, all of them that's ever done anything to me. Her, Jim Cryer, David Harrington, everyone. And then it ends with the picture of the serpent just jumping at the screen. I'm going to be honest, it really had to, um, to me personally, that Taylor Swift vibe. You know, the fact that the old Taylor's dead, but now the new one's here and she has snakes and stuff like that. I really got that vibe from Candace. And I I'm going to be honest with you. It was to be expected because typically speaking, the real trailer for the haves and the have nots, I mean like the real trailer with scenes from the, um, you know, upcoming episodes as well as, you know, more dialogue from multiple characters. That one typically comes out the month before the show comes on. So I did some, you know, research, like looking all through the own network's YouTube channel to see when the last trailer dropped, you know, before the season this January, I believe it happened around middle of December just to get you hype, but I'm not going to lie. Um, I feel like I'm more excited for a have and have not trailer more than I am for a Marvel's, you know, the Avengers Infinity War trailer dropping. I'm more excited for freaking a have and have nots, but <sighs> I mean, I'm going to be honest here. There isn't much to say. My, I feel at first I thought my trailer breakdown review was going to be even shorter than the 15 seconds we got last night i'm not gonna lie i was pretty pissed off like i saw that and then the one for the pains and I, I will be doing a video on the pains as well i'm just like why are we going through the same thing over and over again candace is mad now she's going to get revenge and then that's going to lead to retaliation and it, uh, Okay, I'm not knocking it. I'm not knocking it. I'm not going to say that I'm not looking forward to the new season, but I'm just tired of the same thing every time. Candace is doing... Because she hates Hannah, she's never going to listen. It's just the fact that I think even Benny said that look at what you're doing with your life and then look at how you're being treated as a result. Basically, what you're doing, the seeds you're sowing now, you're reaping what you sow. Literally, you think people are getting back at you, but you're the one to initiate. You're the one who blackmailed Jim to begin with for the hundred thousand dollars in the sports car. Uh, you're the one who extorted the seven point four million dollars. Hence, why um, David hired Oscar to get the money back from her, and. The list goes on. I'm not even going to get into it. It's just that I'm just tired of the same thing from Candace. Like, when is she going to learn her lesson? And if not, will she just get killed off? And the, the way I figure it, the way she's like, I'm going to get revenge on all those SOBs. And then she started listing off names. It reminds me of what she told Hannah about. I hope that you die. You get buried in like a wooden coffin or something like that. And then people, I'll spit on your unmarked grave. And then Hannah said, you just spoke your own death into existence. You're going to be the one who's buried. And then all of your enemies are going to be standing over your grave. And just look at all the enemies Candace has made. It would not surprise me if she gets what she wished on Hannah, just like Veronica most likely will get the treatment that she 
threatened Melissa with in terms of being in almost like a comatose state, but not being able to move around, but well aware of what's going on around you. I will say the only thing about this trailer that had my eyebrow raised was, hmm, we didn't see Veronica. Interesting, huh? Very interesting. And if I'm not mistaken, kind of going back, I believe um, it was either when Wyatt was said to be dead when he had, when he overdosed or it was when David supposedly burned up in the house that when they did a new trailer for the haves and the have nots, they either didn't show Wyatt or David. I forgot which one of them it was, but Tyler hit it well so that we didn't know the um, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. I think it was when um, I think it was when Veronica burnt down the house and that was the mid season finale, I believe. And then the season picked up like a few months later. It's like, oh, my God, David did survive. So what they're doing with Veronica is just, you know, OK, we're not going to put Veronica in this trailer because we're not going to tell you if she survived the car crash or not. Smart move. And I do like how it's got people talking. I will say this much, even though the trailer is pretty lackluster, that was the one thing I didn't notice. And I think that was a good move. The bigger question is when they actually do the real trailer, hopefully sometime next month, will Veronica be in that one? I mean. If here's my and again, this is just me thinking out loud. If Veronica is not in the trailer that drops, hopefully within the next few weeks here, I'm thinking one of two things. Number one, they're probably going to be character reactions like what Veronica got in a crash or Justin will go to see Jeffrey and tell him what happened. Or I feel like something like that might happen or heck they might show it where it'll be a scene where the cops and ambulance amp, ambulance is right outside of the car and it's like oh no this doesn't look good again i'm just thinking out loud here i'm thinking those would be clever ways of showing us all right we're picking up where we left off but we're not going to reveal whether or not they're alive so i feel like that's going to be something heck they might go so far as oh no she's dead but they're not going to say who it is like they'll say somebody's dead like she's dead but we don't know if that's referring to melissa or veronica again that's just my theory so uh, i will say i really wasn't pleased with this trailer i mean i had a feeling this was what we were going to get for now but i mean they just threw us a bone. Hopefully, we'll get the whole, you know, chicken leg sooner or later. But uh, with that being said, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, I don't think anybody really liked this trailer because I did pay attention to social media. Um, last night when If Loving You Is Wrong is trending, I went on Twitter and I just saw like, wait, that's the trailer? That's all we got? I'm going to be honest here and this is going to lead into my new video about the Pains trailer. I think that more people were talking about the Pains trailer than the haves and the have nots, mainly because there wasn't really anything to talk about in the have and have not trailer, aside from the fact that Veronica wasn't in there. But just hang tight, hit the subscribe button because um, I will be recording a video with my thoughts on the Pains trailer as well. And I'll talk to you in the next video.